Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. And this is my stepdaughter, <laughs> Ray Exner. Most of you already know Carter Reed Exner. I've had Ray on two videos so far, one Christmas video, one summer video, but I haven't had her on a lot of videos. And today it's her turn. She's home for the holidays. So we're going to try to catch some walleye, perch, possibly pike, a little bit of all three. This is this is the other half of the family that you guys don't get to see very often. So she's caught some big fish, so she's a little spoiled too, just like her brother, but she's a little bit older, smarter, better looking spoiled at least. So <laughs> anyways, perch, pike, walleye, let's do it. So the plan of attack today is to have Ray fishing in the shelter, and then I'm going to set up some pike tip ups also. So I'll have cameras on her in here as we're as she's filming as i'm setting up some stuff i will fish with her too but she's going to kind of take the lead a little bit with the cameras and you're going to film your own show here as i set tip ups and stuff if you catch a fish <laughs> hopefully she catches a fish so i'll be in and out of the whole the shelter as we go so i'm going to get her set up with the rod get her fishing for walleye and perch and i'm going to get some pike tip ups and uh i don't know really what the plan of the attack is today we might talk about live scope settings a little bit but more importantly it's just to enjoy the day oh and hopefully we catch a fish because I brought stuff to cook it on the ice. So that's another goal too. Okay. And then reel up a little bit higher. Reel up, yeah. So if they're if, if you see these fish further away and they're at that level, jig above their level because that way they can see you. If they get closer, you can drop it lower, but try to jig at their level or above their level when they're far away. Nothing wrong with jigging up high once in a while like this at all. And then you can bang it on the bottom too once in a while. You mix it, mix it all around, right? Like you drop it, drop it down, reel it up a bit, drop it down. A little bit of everything. Give them the everything. Yeah. Got a fish? Yeah. I saw it on your rod or the other rod. That was cool. Okay, bud. Look at that. What you got? It came to your rod, or the other rod. Your rod, so, yeah. So I picked it up, and I played with it, and I got it. Nice. So I just can't get it out. Show them off. Ray caught lunch. Eye. Ray caught lunch. Good news, now you get to eat on the ice. Yeah, thank you. Got some pike tip up set up. Ooh, she's toasty in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, my full snow? You ate it on your back? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I went down like a bag of hammers, Ray. <laughs> we'll roll that clip right now. <laughs> Lot set up, eh? A lot yeah. of work. I put on a lot of miles already. So what do we see here? What's been going on, Ray? Give me play by play. What have you been seeing? Bigger fish out this way. Bigger fish that way? So like what, 25, 30 feet away? I got one hole drilled out that way. So if we see a bunch out that way, we can uh, just swing over there with the flasher and go outside for a bit. Fishing. Na 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 Fishing. 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 Na 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 Fishing. Na 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 Fishing. Fishing, fishing. This is what I literally have to do all day, Ray. I'm usually by myself and I just have to entertain myself, talk to myself. Is that why you talk a lot to yourself at home? I think so. They're all just coming in. They're coming to you. Got them. Bam! Got em. That's a perch. That was fun. It's going to be a big perch. It's going to be a big perch. Come straight up. Yep. That nice. is a big perch. Yeah. And they'll get bigger here too. Ray catches like a 10 inch <laughs> perch. Nice. Well, we got two of the species down. Get back down, there's more fish. We got two of the species right now covered. We gotta catch a pike yet for our trifecta. And then we gotta focus on the big ones yet. And yes, we could be eating those perch too, but I feel like there's gonna be more perch come around if we don't catch another eater walleye then I'll kill some perch, but I'd rather kill two walleye than say six perch. It's just a lot easier and perch are harder on the knives. They got such tough skin. Oh, 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 coming to Ray. Get him. Another perchy, I think. 
when they start to rise yeah like that just slowly pull up jiggle 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 if you're sitting here though and it starts to come up don't drop it down towards it okay keep it level and then slowly start to pull away as it gets closer jiggle it on the spot if you're sitting right there and it's coming straight up at you it's a it's a, it's a perchy but if you drop it towards it that fish is going to be coming up towards it and as that bait falls to it it's going to like dodge away cause it's going to be like why did that thing just come straight towards me so i can eat it oh ray yeah we got a flag over here do i reel up yeah you reel up mine can stay in there you reel up okay you come here you're just gonna start reeling and as soon as it gets tight set it set it there we go there we go just like you would open water slow pull up and then yeah then reel down if it wants to run you let it run probably got one of them pikes northern pike this is good so we got our tip up set out here Ooh. oh just uh just a nice one just go slow it's not a, it's not a huge one just uh an eater just an eater okay oh hooked right in the beak too perfectly so i don't even have to go grab my pliers i got my i got right here i got a live well drilled so we can go quick if we ever need to and uh put the fish in there and take photos and stuff but yeah ray's first pike of the day that was that's our third species okay that would be uh close to a good eater too but we're gonna let him let him go he's a little bit too big probably about a 30 inch or so see ya nice <laughs> Bob girl thanks put the rod right there oh what happened this flag is up okay well that means we got a fish <laughs> reel up and cover here yeah yeah you're supposed to say flag just you just start reeling and then when you feel light just uh or feel little hook little hooks at yeah you don't have to give a huge hook set with a walleye but you gotta give a little one. Oh, this is walleye likely this is a oh. walleye yeah most likely yeah it's smaller smaller than the pike but we need another eater oh it's a little pike it's a little snake so that's the wrong species now we want snakes we want big snakes get them get them right get them get them here he comes here he comes oh bammed him yeah. bammed him i don't have my glasses on i can't see oh what's it it's a nice walleye nice walleye perfect <laughs> that's probably another perfect eater we're gonna have lunch ray with her what second third walleye third walleye. Third walleye. Fish, yeah. she's got one perch two pike three walleye i've got zero fish this is going to be another eater so we are definitely having lunch on the ice fish fresh fish Boom. Bam him. What a girl. It looks so big underwater. I know, right? Nice. Nice. Ray's bam and I'm like a champ. Yeah. She's told me she's keeping her hand away from the reel, so she bams him instead of <laughs> trying to go right for the reel. So be another uh almost a good eater, but it's got some stuff going on. It's this side so we're gonna we're gonna let it go we will we'll be taking some fish home with us today though too not just having fish to eat we'll take home some fish home for the family too okay it's a light colored one yeah just real slow and if it gets tight give them a little bam yep bam them sometimes the walleyes don't run that far they just eat and they sit here oh yeah that's a nice one that's a nice one that is that probably the one you yeah. saw easy easy Easy. Easy. Okay. 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 That's a good one. That's yeah, you. Just came out. We'll we'll take it inside and we'll Sorry. go do a inside. Like You're good. Cool. That's awesome. Twenty, almost twenty-four. Oh. So you're getting there. I think about twenty-five is your PB Definitely probably. Biggest, like the chunkiest. Perfect. Ooh. Go down a little bit. Yeah, right there. Ray catches one on the tip up. Outside, twenty-four nice. incher. Yeah. Not a girl. Put them back. I don't even have my hook in here, just sitting in here. Make it big. Yeah, they're fat in the winter. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Hi, girl. Thanks. She's crushing. I haven't caught a fish yet today. I'm also letting her have all four. Yeah. Of <laughs> so we're getting this back down here. This is a jackknife jig with a live minnow. I have three rods set up outside for Ray right now. I have this one here for Wally and I've got two pike tipped up set up for her right now. 
Later in the evening, we'll fish two rods in the shack. But for now, I want to take advantage. We're seeing some fish a little bit shallower. So we got her, her four rods set up. I'm not fishing. She's just using mine. But I figure it'd be nice to set up a finicky fuller out here since we were seeing some fish a little bit shallower. And I have this one on one of those jackknife jigs, which I've done some stuff in the past already. And I'm putting it just about a foot off of the bottom. So we'll get this all dialed in, set up, and hopefully catch some more. I like, I like what's going on. I do. This is a, it's really good right now. This is in 11 and a half feet of water. The shack's in 16 feet, and those flags are up in uh, seven and six feet of water, I believe. So it's a nice slow transition with a deeper drop off here. Well, a little midday update. Things are going a-ok. -okay. Very happy with the results so far, considering it's also like usually the slowest part of the day. We've got a couple pike, we've got one perch, we've got some eater walleye, we've got a nice 24 inch walleye. Things are, are good. I've got my fish cleaned up. I'm about to get the cooker rolling here right away. We're doing lemon pepper right there. We're not putting any binders on the fish at all. I'm just gonna use a little bit of water just to moisten the fillets and then hammer it with lemon pepper. And then we're gonna put some extra citrus kick on at the end. I am still cooking in beef tallow. This is probably the last time I'll be able to cook with it though right now because I need some more. I'll have to use some canola oil. It might even be a little bit short right now. We'll see, but we will fire up the pan. We'll cook some fish on the ice. This year has been outstanding for weather and be able to do things like this. Sometimes I know it's so cold, you don't wanna cook outside. You wanna cook in your shelter, do something easy. And I'll do some stuff inside the shelter later in the winter when it does get colder. But on days like today, it's so nice to take advantage of the weather and cook some fresh fish outside. It's so good. So I think now this is probably my favorite out of all the catching cooks. The spicy is still up there largely for me. But uh, the Catch and Cook Lemon Pepper has been really, really good. There'll be links below where you can get it. And there's a lot of different retailers now that sells it. And it's available in the States as well. If you haven't tried Catch and Cook yet for fish coatings, I highly recommend it. You keep an eye on it then. You can tell the fish that they're safe now. We won't eat them now. We might eat them later, but we won't eat them now. And there we have it. Two plates of fresh cooked walleye. Two fish there and that's all we're going. We, one was smaller, one was bigger. So we kind of split them up here. Ray's gonna have a nice portion of fish. We're gonna fill her up and hopefully she doesn't have a food coma. And uh, then we're gonna catch some big walleye tonight, hopefully. So good. Mm, there's a fish on here, Ray on this tip up it just hasn't popped yet come out here i looked over and it was starting to bend and then it popped so you can just reel and then if it if it's tight just give it a little hook set again yep set them there we go there we go yeah i looked over i'm like uh oh, this flag's gonna pop right away nice that's uh that's an eater yep we like eaters don't we Yep. Nice. Oh, it uh, was like four of them that came. Was there? Yeah, it was a bunch of them. Perfect. Okay, good. Eating fish, catching fish. Well, it must have been good. You almost destroyed it all. It's perfect. <laughs> That's uh, another one for the frying pan. Oh. Fish? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, drop it down a little bit and it'll come back. The, the, one, the one thing, if you're getting to come, taking up high is good. Try to lose. keep it closer to them, but also try to like reel and go down at the same time. Cause if you end up right here, you have nowhere to bam them. Yeah. So you, you, you do have to keep your hand close to the reel sometimes to bring it down a little yeah. bit. 
and then just get it a little bit closer to him. I said not to drop it towards his face, but keep it pretty close. Okay. Yep. You gone? It's a different fish, but it's a fish. That's okay. Not bad at all. You're good at catching them eaters. This one was going to get let go. He's probably about a 14, 15 incher. He's going to, he's going to be next year's supper. <laughs> oh, nice. Go this way. <laughs> Turn. Perfect. See Let's ya. See your bait. <laughs> see your bait real quick. <laughs> this is what I have Ray on. Is a 3 16 frosty mm. clown fish. Dinner bell. It's a gooder. And it glows in the dark, which later in the evening will be glowing up. Oh, that rod is losing its mind. Okay. Okay, we can go. I'll change your mic battery after. You just go grab it, close the bale, and damn them. Go ahead, you grab it. We'll grab the rod, pull it out, close okay. the bale, damn them. I'll get the cover off. Yep, damn them. Got them. Got them. Hi, girl. Maybe a little bit better? We'll find out. Feels, looks better anyway. It feels like, oh, it's a pike. Is it a pike? Oh, yeah. it's a little, it's a snake. <laughs> Ray, wrong species. You no, this stuff that. is awesome. Watch. Yeah, no, that stuff is awesome. Yeah. So Ray said my hands smell like fish. And I've shown this off in some videos before, but it's a scrub by this company called Three Ideas. Now no fish smell at all. Nope. It's pretty cool. To me, I don't care about the fish mob, but as soon as she said, I was like, oh, I got this stuff with me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's coming. It's 20 feet away from me right now. This way, but it's coming in still. It's a little bit sliding kind of this way. Hopefully it sees your spoon. Oh yeah, here it comes. Come on, get here. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, bang it right to the bottom. Just drop it all the way down. Open your bale, drop it to the bottom. Yeah, and now just bang it down there. Bang it, bang it, yeah. Okay, now start to lift. Lift, lift slow, slow, slow. Lift, lift, lift. Yeah, keep jiggling as you're lifting. Jiggle as you lift. Jiggle, 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 lift. Keep going, yeah, keep going, keep going. Missed it. Oh, come on. It might come back, get it higher. Drop it down. All the way. Yeah, drop it. Try to get his attention again. Yeah, let it go all the way to the bottom. Okay, now just jiggle in the bottom. Oh, keep it down there. Keep it down low. Keep it down low. Right in there, right in the sand. Right in the sand. Yeah. And then just if you feel tension, oh. you bump it. Yeah. Okay, you just keep it down there in the sand. Yeah. You go like no tension, tension, no tension, tension. Okay, lift it. Get his attention again. Lift it, lift it, and jiggle it. Jiggle it. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Jiggle as you lift. Up, 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 up. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Up, up, up. Jiggle. Up, up, jiggle. Up, jiggle. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going up. Keep going up. Up, up, up. Slow. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Open your bale and just drop it right down. Oh, I oh. hit him. I hit him. Did you hit him? Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. Okay. He might come back. He's going to come back. He's still into it. Just keep banging the bottom. He's still into it. He's definitely... Is that a bigger marker? Oh, uh, it was nicer. It wasn't huge. So it's like when you're when you're on the bottom, you basically go to like where you can like feel like so now you feel nothing, and there you also you feel the spoon. So you just go like this, just lightly, so you can feel it, don't feel it, feel it, don't feel it, don't feel it, back and forth like that. And if they pick, if you go like this and it's a little bit of weight, then you bam them. Okay. And then when you're coming up to them, you go like this, keep it up, and then jiggle it as you're coming up, as you're lifting, jiggle it, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle it. And that dinner bell spoon just waggle, 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 waggle. That was good. That was good. He's still in the area. He's right. He's back. He's only here like 10 feet away. He wasn't, if he was super aggressive, he would have ate for sure. He just was not crazy aggressive. So I guess I saw another one there. Another one coming. Yep. Bounce it to the bottom. Take it to the bottom. Open the bale and drop it down. Drop it down. Okay, tighten. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Start to lift. Lift, 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 lift. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Lift and jiggle, lift and jiggle, lift and jiggle. Keep going. Yep. Lift and jiggle, lift and jiggle. There. He didn't bam him really good, I but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, and yeah. he, I saw him. Yeah. yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. Just give him, when you're lifting though like that and you and you feel them set or you feel them hit it, just lift hard. But that was good though. 
So yeah, the trick is like when you're lifting and jiggling to also reel a little bit so you keep your rod nice there where it's an area you can jiggle. As you get too high, all of a sudden you're like, uh oh. And if you do get too high, instead of going up, come come at you backwards even. Just come straight backwards. Oh, flags up. Just throw the rod in the rod holder. I think he has it. I think he's swimming away with it slow. Okay, just reel and if it's tight, bam him, bam him. There you go. There we go. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay. Well, the finicky fooler does it again. It's been hot. It's been hot. Okay, we're gonna get an evening bite. I can feel it. Eat it. They're pretty small those ones, I think. Oh, bam. Maybe we'll get an evening bite yet. Here it comes. Here it comes. Flags up. Okay, you go. <laughs> you go. Yep, go to the flag. Go to the flag. I'll get this one. Okay, Ray went to the flag. First, she caught this little guy. We took the tip up out from outside. The pike tip ups are out as well. I've got the live minnow sitting here right beside me for a Ray. She gets both rods right now, but the sun has just set. So now we're going to fish the rest of the evening inside. We're gonna hopefully crush a big one yet. We've had some nicer ones cruise through. They just haven't been super aggressive. The bigger ones anyway, the smaller ones are. I'm your rod holder now. <laughs> we'll go like this, I'll hold it like this. If it eats it, I'll go like that. You grab the rod and give me yours. Yeah, oh, grab this one, set it. Okay, grab your other rod again. Put that one on the seat. You keep fishing. Oh, up high. Go up high. Go up high. That's yeah, high. right there. Ah, oh, could be a big walleye too this time of night. Lots of faith that being a walleye this time of night. Could be either. Could be a tank walleye. There we go. There we go. You never got it. You got it. Okay, you might come back. You might come back. You might come back. You have to set it, sunshine. Okay. You might come back though. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Yeah, you got to set it. Looks like a big, a bigger walleye. Reel up. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop there. Jiggle. 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 Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <sighs> jiggle. Jiggle. Set. That was a good hook set. That was a good hook set. That was a good hook set. That was a I got angry, not gonna lie. That was a good hook set. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Don't lift up so heavy. What am I doing? Just don't lift up so hard. Okay. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got her. That was a good hook set, girl. I'm going to measure them for Ray, and she's going to hold them and show them off. 24 inches ray Yay. 24 inches of golden beautiful show it off yeah nice there you go a little bit lower right there yeah. perfect nice Thanks. get her back the only way to learn the whole fishing thing is to go out and do it ray had a big mark up higher earlier and she just didn't set it and she took instructions and I said, when that fish bites, I want you to try to put that rod tip through the roof. And that time, she bammed them hard. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. That was good. Thanks. That's what today's been all about. Just a little bit of teaching and experience, right? No matter what, everybody always says, oh, we have live imaging. It's easy. You have live imaging. I challenge anybody to, that hasn't fished, say, to come out and try it with live imaging or not. The only way to catch fish is experience and get better. It doesn't matter if you have all this technology. Does it help to learn and advance your learning skill set? 100%. But all those people on the internet that blah, 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 talk, oh, that's not fishing. Bring it on. Come out. Let's go. Try it. There you That's not fishing. I'll show you fishing. As I sit here on my couch and play 
Sega. That's fishy. <laughs> he on. wants it. <laughs> well, we've had a pretty good day of catching some walleyes. Even I caught a couple now. Even though I tried not to catch this guy. He's got big eyes. Look at his eyes. They're huge. Those are big. Those are big eyes. And we're only fishing in... 18 feet of water, so um, 20 feet of water, it says there, so it's not bear trauma. Okay, see you later. See ya. <laughs> She's making fun of me. Any marks? Yeah, it's going right towards yours. What's that? It's going towards yours. What? Going for what? It's at yours right now. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Got a girl. Oh boy. It's a big mark. <laughs> lift slow, lift and reel down slow. Yeah. It's a nice one. What should I do? Yeah, mm, not nothing. that. Nothing. That's okay. Uh, it's all good. It wasn't huge. It was like a okay. 25, 26. It wasn't huge. It was a big mark. I no, no. It. That's good. That's okay. That's okay. I'm a little bit unlucky. Sometimes the big ones just get away. And it wasn't huge. I okay. saw it. It was like a 25, 26. Yeah, I saw it. It was, it was a nice one, but not. Biggest one of the day, but maybe not quite a PB yet. It wasn't huge. Biggest one of the day, but. Well, just saying. <laughs> Still a big fish. No, this is good. I'm outside packing some stuff up because it's dark, dark. And I got rain here just fishing to the bitter end. Was that one up higher too? or It was up, yeah. Was it like the mark was up higher though? Or? We were probably here and okay. it came just right to you. It came right to it? Also, okay. it was like a shooting star just like 10 minutes before that. This biggest pike, probably a pike, zoom, literally within five seconds, zoom. Really? I was like, that was like a shooting star. That's it was amazing. insane. My glasses are fogging up. I was packing everything up out there. Come down here, Ray. <laughs> Thank you so much for fishing with me. This is the first time we got ice fishing together for two years. Yeah. So to me, it's more about just being out here, hanging out, cooking her some fish, teaching her some things. I wasn't here to pound fish today <laughs> myself. She actually caught quite a few. We're going home with six or seven fish. Six fish. Sorry, we got six fish in the bucket. We had eight two today and we got six fish in the bucket. So we have our, our limit. Whatever you eat that day actually counts as your limit. So you have to be really careful. We did cook two up. So thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure as always. <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. And remember, get outside. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.